Tim Daniels is about to sign in here from Florence, Italy. And, uh, yeah, there he is. There he is. What's this here? Okay. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't you, I'll, I'll talk to Tim for a second, and then mm-hmm. you just go out okay. and come back. Daniels. Okay, man. Okay, man. Hey, <laughs> man. Sir. Um, what's up? Hey, boys. How are you today? We're good, man. Listen, Fred's going to leave because we're getting, we, we've got a bit of a wonky Zoom connection, so it's just going to be you and me for a second. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Let's do it. Let's so, do uh, it. you know, my my lady friend, GFR, girlfriend Rachel, says to me last night, we should go to Saskatchewan. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. what? I said, yeah. you know, I said, listen, we what? When we, when we can travel again, she's like, yeah, we should go to Saskatchewan. I'm like, uh, okay. And then she said, well, there, because I want to see Moose Jaw. I said, you know, fair enough. And then she said, we can go to Saskatoon to some art gallery. I went, no, no, no. I'm not going up to Saskatoon. You know, when I was, the reason I bring it up is because, you know, when you and I were kids. Yeah. I don't know about you, but going to Regina, which for you folks who don't know Saskatchewan geography, Regina is only 40 miles away from Moose Jaw. But when I was a kid, um, I never made it home with my parents because once in a while we would go to Regina for a shopping or a movie. I never made it home without falling asleep. Because I used to think it was, I used to think that 40 miles was, took forever. Exactly. So true. So true. I, I remember that well also. I had the exact same experience. Yeah. So to go In to, fact, Sat- go ahead. Yeah. No, I was going to say, so I, every Sunday, uh, my dad would try to drag me to his church that he went to in, in Regina, because I guess we didn't have churches in Moosha, I don't know. Anyway, um, and, and he would bribe me by, on, on the way home, there was this little uh, Italian butcher shop where we would stop in and, uh, and buy mortadella. And, and hey, maybe that's, uh, you know, that was ingrained in me from early on. That's why I ended up living in Italy. I don't know. But what brought that to an end was the one Sunday. And, and of course, I would devour this mortadella. Before we got halfway back to Moose Jaw, the mortadella was gone. And then one Sunday, Dad made the tactical error in explaining to me that uh, mortadella is made from donkey meat. <laughs> that, oh, was, it? That, was end, that was it? That was the end of my Sunday outings to, to Regina with Dad. Was, that was the last time. <laughs> I, I know Fred's done the trip with me once, and it's hard for people to understand. When you're heading east from Moose Jaw to Regina, it's 40 miles yeah. on the Trans-Canada about yeah. halfway is a little town called Belle Plaine. And there's an right. the reason it's significant is because it's like there's a little hill. <laughs> it's, a, it's fucking pathetic. You go up this little hill and around. What's that? The one turn in the road. The one turn in the road. Regina. And I always remember this. I always remember that you can start seeing Regina from about 20 miles away. <laughs> It's yeah. just insane because mm-hmm. there's right. nothing else. And then you see these little buildings in the distance. Yeah. And you're like, that's fucking Regina way down there. And, and, it's, and it's not because, you know, there's any, you know, high rises in Regina. Everything is like, you know, one, two stories. But that's right. It's just because you can see forever. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, I remember those days well. I was, when you were gone, Fred, I was telling Tim, Rachel says to me last night, she goes, you know, we can't, uh, we know, even though we can't travel a lot, maybe we should go to Saskatchewan. And I was like, what? She goes, yes, I want to go to Moose Jaw, and there's an art gallery in Saskatoon. And I'm like, no, I don't want to go to Saskatoon. But I thought it might be fun for us to go to Moose Jaw and then drive west to Calgary and, you know, see the uh, the family there. Yeah. Well, uh... I think that's actually su- I I think that's sweet on her part. Yeah, I do. I mean, I really do, because she wants to she wants the Glassman roots. She wants yeah, to see right. where it that's all began. Right. Oh, yeah. And 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 how you how you came to be? Uh, really, I think it's a great and and you'll do maybe what you did when I was with you. We pulled up in front of the house you grew up in, and you went and knocked on the door <laughs> and asked the person if we could have a tour. And shockingly to me, the woman said, "Sure, come on in." Two two men that she had never met before. We knocked yeah. on the door. Can we come in? Basically, is what Howard yeah. said. And I we had a tour of the house. Can you imagine something else? Can you imagine that in Toronto? Yeah, hi, yeah, we're just two, two yeah. old white guys. Can we come in your home? 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, that that will fly in a moose jaw of the world, but yeah. uh, not so many other places. <laughs> um, While well, we're talking to Tim Daniels uh, from HealthGauge.com, and uh, I got mine on. You know, uh, we've been talking about this watch, but it's so much more than that. And and it's funny how be, you become habituated to looking at how many. I I, I don't know about you, Freddie. I, so we've been. Ha- I've worn it now for a couple months, and I have this habit of like checking my steps. And checking my sleep every day. You know, I don't always check my blood pressure and my heart rate, but I always check those things. And, you know, Timmy, I was sick a, a little a couple weeks ago. I got a, a little bit of food poisoning and it bothered the stomach condition that I have. Yeah. And for a couple of days, I was really checking my temperature, mm-hmm. you know, seeing if, you know, because I, I was running a bit of a fever. What's interesting yeah. about this watch is just how you become used to having that much information, and yet you it really isn't that much information. It's kind of yeah. just the basics that you want to keep an eye on your everyday health. Would you not agree? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, it, it's kind of like, uh, you know, once you've carried a cell phone in your pocket, um, you'll never be without it again. This is the same sort of thing. I mean, it, it's it's uh, it just becomes you know part of your your necessary gear <laughs> and uh, and that that's exactly the way i feel about it now for the same reason you know i just you know eh, how is uh, how is my blood pressure doing what's my heart rate what's my temperature right now and it just it's just comforting to know that all that information is 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 right there at your literally at your fingertips whenever you want it so it's it's, it's kind of cool and you you really become um you know dependent on it on it being there for you yeah you know um here's a neat little story uh last time i golfed and i walked the course i think on the day i had 13 almost 14,000 steps good for you last week i mm-hmm. went i went golfing yeah in a golf cart, <laughs> and at the end of the day, I only had about four thousand steps. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and I love I love walking when I I golf, and it just shows you the difference between being in a cart and not being in a cart, and why it's so valuable to walk a golf course if you can, because mm-hmm. it's a lot more exercise, obviously. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, that's yeah, that's for sure. And having you know that you know, that visual feedback, even though, I mean, we all intuitively know that, that, you know, uh, yeah, walking the course, I get more exercise. But when you actually have that, that you know, that quantitative uh, uh, result mm-hmm. in front of you saying, you know, when I walked, I, get, I did 14,000 steps. When I rode, I did 4,000 steps. And it, it, it actually means something. It starts to, to sink in and it helps you, you know, start to modify your lifestyle a little bit in those positive ways. You know, that's a really good point, too, by having that data. I mean, and again, you don't need to dive into it at the super geek yeah. level, but it really. Yeah. And, and again, I, I hadn't worn. I've never had a Fitbit or any of those other things, and I haven't worn a yeah. watch in a long time. But but it is interesting what you just said, the, the fact that now, again, you become habituated into checking your blood pressure, oxygen, and all that stuff. But it becomes part of, you know, you sort of get a, an idea like, hey, I, I, may not be, I may not be feeling well, and I can check my watch, and it can confirm. I have a bit of a temperature. My blood pressure's up a bit. Uh, healthgauge.com is where you find out more about this. The promo code, and uh, just... Between you and I, Timmy, we're going to need to extend it because I think today, for some reason, July 27th stands out as, I think, the last day. So make sure you talk to Blake and we get it extended because I'm getting a lot of people saying, you know, how do I do it? And, and I've, I've, I've copied you on com- some of the correspondence. HealthGauge.com, uh, put in the promo code HUMBLEFREDHG. And I screwed it up a couple times. And, and anyway, we've got it figured out now. It's HUMBLEFREDHG to get uh, 15% off this watch. Um, uh, I think we have it's the 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 brand the model's called the Phoenix. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, have you got yours yet? Because it's cool. Ours is cooler than yours. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, you got have it. it. Okay. I, all right. I all got right. it. I got it. Finally. Finally, Finally. I got mm-hmm. mine. <laughs> has the weather has the weather been nice in Florida? Go ahead, Freddie. It, no, uh, let's fine. see. Go ahead. You go I ahead. can tell you right now it is uh, thirty-two degrees, mostly sunny. Is uh, is what we're looking at here right now. And it's, uh, you know, it's, 
it's got to be the most boring job in the world being a weather forecaster in the summer in Florence because it's like every day 35 and mm -hmm. sunny every day 35 and sunny so there's uh, we don't get much variety this time of year um, in fact I think the last day we had when it was under 30 degrees was uh, a, a good month ago wow. uh, we're uh, we're into the into the dog days and ev everyone was wearing their winter coats right yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, speaking uh, of that. You know, it's funny how you climatize because I guarantee yeah. the first day, the first day it, it falls under 30. You you bet I'll be pulling out my hoodie. Well, and well, say, what, well, well, what is it like in January, February there? Never does it get below 20? Uh, yeah, are you sure? No, I, 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 uh, best to describe it like Vancouver like weather. Not quite as cold, but a typical winter day here will be about. You know, six to eight degrees. Oh, there we go. Somebody's after me. Um, but <laughs> six to eight degrees, and um, um, and you know, kind of cloudy, rainy. Yeah, go ahead and take that if you want. Is that one of your uh, kids? <laughs> it's uh, no, they they only WhatsApp me. They they don't know how to use a real phone. So. Is that your actual house phone in Florence? That's an actual house phone. Believe it or not, we still have one of those things. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Um, all right, Timmy, listen, you and I got to catch up. Uh, I, this, the, re the rest of this week is pretty golfy for me, but I'll reach out and we'll maybe uh, get together next week and uh, chat it up. Perfect. Looking forward to it. Thanks, pal. Absolutely. There's uh, there's Tim Daniels, uh, healthcage.com. Don't forget, Humble Fred uh, HG for 15 points off this watch. And uh, as we've told you, it's be it's become kind of part of our lives now to check in on our health every day. Thanks, Timmy. Thanks, guys. All right. Take Cheers. care. You Thanks, too. Tim.